bit of a practical advice for your own home. Um, if you find a ant in your home, some people might kill it there and then. Bad idea. Capture it and put it outside, maybe, if it's just one ant on its own. Might not be an issue. Have you ever killed an ant in your home? In your own home? Only later to find there's suddenly like another four or five more ants. You kill those and there's even more. The reason for that is the killed ant, if it's been killed, it releases a pheromone to attract more ants. This is a mechanism to for the ants to protect their own. Now, ants and wasps are the same kind of family. The same thing happens with wasps. If you kill a wasp, it releases this pheromone which attracts more wasp. So, um, just stick it outside. You might not end up having a ant problem. You might not have had the ant problem to begin with. You might have just had a stray ant just wandering around. Maybe one of foragers going out to look for a potential nest or a potential nesting site. Maybe. Because, uh, in the UK, late August or, uh, you know, sort of mid-August to late, we get flying ants. All ants fly. The term flying ants is slight, slightly nuanced because there's not flying ants and then there's ants. All ants fly. They, they develop wings, they fly, look for a new location, and when they land... The wings start to fall off. They're looking for a new nesting area, right? So you get swarms sometimes. Um, at least that's a rudimentary understanding. I don't think they mate on the wing. Is that right? And the wings fall off? I'm not sure. Um, but I do know is there's not just ants and there's flying ants. Ants, All ants fly and there's many different types of ants, right? As a child growing up in the countryside... Uh, with my brothers, we used to go and collect ants. Do things like, oh, there's a yellow ant from one nest. There's a black ant from another nest. We used to stick them underneath a glass and put them together and watch them fight. Things like this. Bet pocket money over who would win. Really cruel. Uh, even crueler, we would burn them under a magnifying glass, harnessing the sun's light to make a a point that's a very hot thing a little puff of smoke go up terrible but don't you know don't kill an ant in your own home unless you already have an ant problem you know you've got an ant problem if you see three or four maybe five ants all in one place beginning but if you see one stray ant it just might be one stray ant and maybe there's a nest nearby just out the door or something like that um yeah, if you do have a problem near the door or in in the territory or whatever, just of course do what you can to deal with it because they can be very problematic. They can be very problematic for a garden as well. Ants um, not grow again. Growing up in country countryside, it uh, gives you this knowledge how some of these things work. There's a fly called a Hayfid or green fly, as well, often referred to, and uh, these bugs will sap, penetrate leaves of things, and drink the sap, uh, the waste product, the ooze, poo out some they're like a sugary substance because of this. Ants, certain types of ants, will grab the aphids, put them on the plant, and specifically so that they could suck up this sugary ooze out there behind that the ants use as sustenance um yeah nature's weird like this sometimes yeah nature you scary um what i do planting fruits and veg out the back garden is trying not to be too chemical about uh root because sometimes you have an ant problem it's really a problem for the plants because they're placing aphids and it really saps the plant and so on. 
Um, you find bugs all over that would be detrimental to the plant. Soapy water. Soapy water, a spray, a spray gun, just squirt and squirt soapy water and it kills them off this way. And, and then the rain will come, they'll wash all that off. You pick and like picking string beans, as the Americans call them, that runner beans in the UK, um, things like that. Um, picking French beans, all the different kinds of beans, anything that you can, picking tomatoes or whatever. They're pickable then without any chemicals on them. That you just wash them off, right? Uh, wash and cook and chop. Outdoor cucumber grow grow. Outdoor cucumber I grow radish, cucumber, tomato, onions, potatoes. All these things, and usually, with some exceptions try to be chemical free but sometimes they you know, things like you might have a slug problem slug pellets really are ideal to get rid of them but again make sure everything's clean and washed properly so you're not ingesting some of these chemicals that you might occasionally have to put down yourself but keep that in mind stray ant indoors don't kill it there you know if i saw a ant crawling across your table here if i squished it now it's releasing a pheromone and uh, if it's close enough to wherever the uh, wherever the ant came from, those other ants are go from that location are going to pick up on that pheromone scent and go that direction. It's like somebody killed one of us. We need to go there to protect and attack back. Don't start a war of ants. Cheers. Bye. Oh, stop button. Yeah, take care.